Um, one of the things that really struck me in watching the film is, I think before people walk in, they're going to think of it as the movie about the guy who loses the arm. But really for me, it's more about the journey from being somebody who believes yourself to be completely independent of the world to somebody who believes in community and understands the value of other people. Uh, how did you and Simon sit down and come up with how you're going to externalize this for us without somebody literally turning to the camera and spelling it out. Well, that's what he does. He does do it, but, it's, but it was justified, which it's, is great. You've earned it by that point. Well, I want to hear Danny's answer, actually, because I'd love to hear about how he and Simon did it, but um, no, when I, you know, when I read the script, and, and Aaron really, Aaron Ralston, the real Aaron Ralston, really made these video messages, but, you know, as filmmakers, I think it was just an incredible storytelling gift where you can have a character talk right into the camera and it's as if he's without breaking the fourth wall it's as if he's talking directly to the audience about some of the most personal things in his life and it's you know but it's worked into the the seams of the of the narrative and the story so it's like you get everything yeah. you know? But I'd love to hear how they kind of came up with it because I'm sure that was a very interesting experience. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's lo I think everybody understands loneliness really, and he looks like he's embracing it at the beginning as something, but it's a curse for him, and it's a very easy thing to slip into. And actually, what we don't understand sometimes it's a very easy thing to change, you know, that you can commune with people. And if you're in a dark time, and he is in pretty terrible time, you can get out of it. And what will help you through it are other people. It's very simple. No man is an island. So we just try to illustrate that with people at the beginning and the end of the film, people through this camera that he's speaking to, he's reaching back to in some way, and also that his honesty as he begins to unravel and he begins to speak honestly to himself about how he's been with people on a simple level, not taking a phone call from his mum, on a big level, not treating a girl who loved him with enough care you know, and being careful with her emotion, her dedication to him. And it's simple things we've all been through mm. and, you all, and you can relate to in this. The, the story's extraordinary, the way it focuses it into something extraordinary that he has to do to end it and then to emerge back to, back to people in a kind of triumphant way. I mean, it's very euphoric, the, the, the feeling of life being given back by him in the end just reaching back to people, you know, mm. and swimming back to people, literally. And the real Aaron Ralston um, corrected me that uh, the first time that I met him, which was in this hotel, um, he asked me why I wanted to play him. And I said, well, for a lot of reasons, but one of the reasons is um, I think it's amazing how you found the strength in yourself to get out of that situation. And he said, no, um, actually what got me through was my connection to my loved ones and when he was making these messages of course they couldn't hear what he was saying at that moment but it felt as if there was a, a very real palpable connection being made to those people and that gave him actually he says gave him the strength to to get through that period and then to, to get himself out I find the um, the physical work you do in the movie, the exuberance of Aaron at the beginning, and the way you you personify it, it's so different than anything I've seen from you physically before on camera. And it's it's great to see you kind of slip into this guy's skin completely. How much did you observe him? How much of it is just you responding to what was on the page? Actually, one of the one of the great gifts that Aaron gave me, and this isn't quite the physical side, but sort of physical behavior, uh, he showed us the real video messages that he made. And so I got to see Aaron in the canyon behaving and almost, you know, more than anything he said, although what he said was very helpful, just being able to see him in the spot, in the middle of that experience yeah. is like, you know, it's actor gold. As far as the physical stuff, yeah, I went to, you know, some climbing gyms and, um, you know, tried to turn myself into a climb as much as I as was necessary you know I really this isn't the story about Aaron climbing a 14,000 foot peak you know it's right. about Aaron walking around Canyonlands and then he gets trapped very quickly but um, but the early scenes are also very important for another reason and as far as the character you know as far as the character goes is I think we discussed it, but I, I, I certainly felt very early on that Danny was very interested in, in pushing the goofiness of the character a little bit at the beginning because, and I've known this for a long time actually, 
The power of comedy is immense, and especially in bringing an audience over onto the character side and, and aligning an audience with the character. And so we had a, a short window in the beginning to really get the audience on board with this guy because you know then you're going to go into you know a very intense place with him. So those early scenes are very important to you know just give a, a <laughs> you know a kind of a levity to everything before it gets a little darker.